this is Magma here, and I am currently playing the special, uh, I guess you would want to say it's the alpha build, the playable little explorable build that Red Ash has just released, uh, the new game that's being made by Comcept, the people who are behind Mighty Number no. 9, uh, Keiji Inafune, and uh, Red Ash is supposedly the spiritual successor to the uh, Mega Man Legends franchise. And I myself have not had a lot of involvement uh, in, in just staying up to date with this game and what's going on with it. I do know that it's being currently run right now on Kickstarter to be funded. Uh, recently, a huge announcement was released that a, a Chinese uh, publishing company or a gaming company has decided to help back the game to a huge extent, which will probably pretty much guarantee the game being created while Concept gets to keep all of their licensing as well. But, um... Uh, the game is still being funded currently for a lot of its stretch goals and whatnot, but recently they just released this uh, pretty much alpha uh, playable build where you get to play as Beck with a very interesting uh, red ash palette and you get to explore this little mini world that they've thrown into you. As you can see right now, I'm kicking uh, cans and whatnot, which is a great homage and all these cans exploding everywhere. It's a fantastic homage to the old Mega Man Legends things where you could do similar similar stuff, running around town, exploring. And again, this is supposed to be a huge homage back to Mega Man Legends. So you walk around, you talk to people, um, you get to mess around in this prototype world and kind of explore it. So it's it seems pretty interesting so far. Uh, you can download it from their Kickstarter and it is uh, free to get. You don't even have to be a contributor to check it out. I have not contributed myself, but I am still checking it out because I do want to see where this is going. And it, it's kind of fun. It's very interesting to play. It's very basic, obviously. You just have um, a AWSD as your camera controls, arrow key to move around, and then you have Z and X to talk and kick, and spacebar to jump around. And you can just kind of explore. As you can see, I'm just running around and trying to figure out what there is to do. Uh, there are people all around the town that you can talk to, and they just all have little dialogue. Currently, most of, if not all of the characters that you can find uh, are all from Mighty Number no. 9, but some of them do have dialogue relatable to uh, Red Ash, apparently. So it's it's put on the table for you to explore, kind of see what's going on, get you a feel of what the game is going to be like. So, messing around with a lot of the camera controls, as you can see, it will have a nice amount of uh, diversity and give you great amount of exploration. And it seems really fun. Um, as a huge fan of the Mega Man Legends series, uh, it's really nice to see something better than nothing, you know? A lot of people are upset because, you know, Mega Man Legends 3 never happened. Mega Man Legends 3 got cancelled. And there's, it's really hard to try to build a good spiritual successor on something. So here's another fun little moment where you can find, um, you can find Call from Mighty Number no. 9 and you can switch places. So now I can control Call and I can run around inside the prototype as her. But as I was saying, um, there is all this exploration and there's all this build and a lot again um this is supposed to be a spiritual successor to Mega Man legends and so far from the way it looks the way they're trying to project this and the way it feels it definitely carries uh some weight and unfortunately i really can't say much to its ability to succeed as a Mega Man legends game until obviously there's a much more uh playable build of it but as far as it stands right now, it, it seems really interesting nonetheless, and it has some really cool mechanics. Um, as far as the uh, prototype goes, again, it's, it's pretty simple, and you just kind of have this one little zone that you can explore. But there's actually a lot more to it than meets the eye, which will come up later. But it's, um, it's got some good stuff, and it's, it's enough where you can actually have an opinion you can justify and say hey look here's what i'm donating my money towards here's what i'm investing into and here's here's something which is better than nothing actually and and i'm actually quite glad that uh you know that concept is doing something like this because even though it may not be the game that i'm adamantly waiting for it's not the game that i am currently trying to throw money towards this is still an amazing thing to do nonetheless is to say hey guys we know that you want to see our game we know that you guys are interested and we need to keep the steam running you know so here take take a copy of our build why don't you take a look at it and see what we've been doing see take a look and see all the cool stuff we've been trying to make for all of you so i pretty much spent most of this time just exploring the game and seeing what it has to offer and as you can see there's characters hiding all over the map that you can find and with some some tricky traverse of using very rudimentary controls you can kind of make your way around and explore and see what's going on
So back to more of the, the discussion, I guess, as it is for this game specifically. Um, again, as I said, I have not been following very uh, uh, very heavily to the Red Ash game. Uh, and even when Mighty Number no. 9 was being created and funded, I also didn't spend a lot of time uh, focusing on how it was going. I did read articles here and there to kind of figure out uh, where things were headed because I was really excited to hear about this spiritual successor to a Mega Man game. It did really excite me to hear that Mega Man was in some way alive um, in a new game. And after playing Mighty Number no. 9 at E3 and playing it at Comic-Con, it, it is a lot of fun and it, it really is Mega Man, you know? it's it, You run, you shoot, you absorb enemies. There are a few other mechanics that try to make it its own game as well, such as the dash-throughs to gain power-ups and abilities and enhancements to your character, but again, it's the same style of game of puzzle solving platforming and shooting and and run and shoot and it is a lot of fun so uh knowing that concept has this ability inside them to create a game try to bring back uh the life that is something from their old franchise something that keiji inafune did work on very hard is is nice to see and in this day and age where lots of games are being funded right now through kickstarter and through indiegogo and such not let's just uh skull girls uh lab zero's new video game that's going to be worked on indivisible and uh, Mighty Number no. Nine, obviously, and um, also uh, Bloodstained, the the Egovania game that's being made and funded. All these games are it's being thrown into the hands of the people, which is actually very exciting. It's very cool to see, and that you have uh, lots of community-driven projects. So right now, as you can see on the screen, I'm still exploring nonetheless, and if you guys are able to explore far enough, if you make all these jumps, you can actually, for a small period of time, you can control Red Ash. So, you can come walk up to him, and he will switch places, and now you can control him, and you can run around and explore that. So this is pretty much the extent as it is to characters that you can run around this world in. Again, you can play as Beck, Call, or Ash, and just run around, climb, jump, and explore and figure things out and I'm just trying to find my way up to that very last guy there but um, as I was saying earlier you know with all of the uh, Indiegogo Kickstarter funded games it's really interesting to see um, people trying to publish and develop stuff for the community for video game for gamers and whether it's uh, good intentions bad intentions I think the core concept and the idea alone is really good the fact that hey we want to make a game, we want to produce something because we have a lot of heart and spirit and we're really hoping that there are people out there who also want to check that out. And every day you see something new, you go onto Kotaku, you go onto IGN, you can go onto any website you want, whether you trust them or not, because I know a lot of people do have their preferences as to where they pick up their media. But even still, it's there are outlets everywhere revealing day by day that something new is being made, that something new is being funded, that progress is being uh, taken in the attempts to create new content and that's fantastic and this alone is proof enough that you know you can say to yourself hey we have some really great ideas why don't we roll with them and see what we get and hopefully people down the line will also try to follow suit so that is a wonderful thing to comment also specifically to the fact that uh, Comcept has released this special prototype build to go alongside their uh, mostly funded game um, a shout out to Lab Zero and Indivisible because they are doing uh, something similar is that they will be uh, running a, a Indiegogo fundraiser campaign shortly um, that will be coming up uh, I believe in the fall at some point and alongside it will be a playable version of a game, a demo, like an alpha build. So not only will you be able to donate to their new video game, but you'll also have the ability to uh, play it and see how it feels and see how it looks and how it works. And after their announcement at Anime Expo this year, I'm actually really, really excited to see what Indivisible will bring to the table and what will make it um, uh, something completely different from Skullgirls, which is what they're trying to do. They want to take a step away. They want to get that breath of fresh air. And that's really cool. That's a really great idea. And I really hope for the best of them. And I, I more than expect their Indiegogo campaign or Kickstarter to campaign to succeed entirely and the game will be funded. I know it in my heart and I know that the fans of Lab Zero and of Alex Ahad and all of the Skullgirls team, um, all those fans are going to definitely support it and it's going to be a lot of fun. So I'm really excited and looking forward to it and I know a bunch of other people shall. Um, I guess in closing statements right now for the 
prototype here for Red Ash. Uh, again, as I've said already throughout this video, it feels really fun. It's very simple, and obviously, it's it's a prototype. It's very clunky, you know. It's camera angles are a little tricky. Like, I'm it's it gets a little confusing sometimes. And even on the uh, a control pad or a fight stick, um, the inputs are actually inverted for control. So w earlier when I tried this out, I actually was using my fight stick, and in order to run uh, forward away from me, uh, I would have to hold down, and in order to run. Uh, to run towards me I'd have to hold up so I had a lot of uh, difficulty trying to manage my way around and I also had no access to camera angles until I used my keyboard which obviously works way better and the controls are not inverted on the uh, X on the Y axis but either way um, red ash so far looks really fun um, is, I mean, as fun as you can run around and kick a bunch of soda cans and try to jump on stuff and climb. But I do like the fact that, again, that they hit a bunch of stuff, that they gave you these cool exploration elements that you could run around and check stuff out. That's really neat. That's, that's, that's a little nice test on top of the fact that they gave you a build to run around in. Not only is it a build you can run, it's a build you can explore. And that alone is really cool. That's really neat. So, um, good on you guys, Concept, for coming up with this and putting it out. It's a really neat touch. It's a lot of fun to get to play and just kind of see where your project is going, especially as an outsider. Because again, I am not someone who has been heavily following this game. I am not someone who has been uh, keeping up to date with all of its updates, with all of the fundraiser uh, news. So this is my first real actual experience with Red Ash, and I can say already that I'm interested. Um, maybe I will donate down the line and try to help reach some of those stretch goals once I do some more research. Maybe I'll actually uh, play the game and buy it when it comes out. Who knows? But um, as a successor to Mega Man Legends, I, I think it definitely is trying very hard to be there and get there. And I, with all these soda can kicking, I definitely agree that it's it's got some good headway. So good luck to you guys at Comcept, and I hope you guys make it to your ultimate goals. And I will see you all later. This is Magamo. Peace.